We know that the, our current ways of preventing DVT, which is um, one of the major in-hospital sources of mortality for patients, are ineffective. To be an effective surgeon and researcher really means noticing common problems that we sometimes become blind to as surgeons because we're so used to encountering them. And being a researcher is you're always on the lookout for these common problems and a way to bring them back to the lab. Dr. Obi is really one of the most up-and-coming, rising academic stars in the country, and she's done some incredible research. Our clinical problem really is sepsis-related, deep venous thrombosis. Basically, it's clotting of the veins in, in primarily the legs, and this can cause both limb problems where people get swelling, pain, uh, and ulceration, or it can also cause an embolus to the lungs that kills people. I think it will have a huge impact on her patients because she's studying something that not a lot of people look at. It's about the third largest killer of people behind heart disease and cancer. It could impact a lot of patients, probably about 33%, so that's a lot of people. Once someone has uh, sepsis or becomes very ill, their risk of DVT is elevated for the next year, and traditional agents are not very effective at preventing DVT. And really our theory is that these immune cells called monocytes macrophages, which we know participate in venous thrombosis, develop what's called immune memory after someone's been ill and can potentially predetermine that someone may form a blood clot sort of over the course of time. And so our goal is really to target that process, investigate it, and figure out new therapies focusing on the immune system rather than anticoagulation to prevent or treat DVT in the future. And part of Dr. Obi's work is to try to understand how infections then stimulate the endothelium to help clots to form. She's also looking at the genetics and how cells may change related to that inflammation that then allow the risk to remain even when the inflammation is gone. Her results are going to be applicable to many other clinical situations, so it will have a lot of impact on other areas of vascular disease and disease in general. Dr. Gallagher has been a very strong mentor for Dr. Obi in helping her to understand what it takes to be a successful academic surgeon scientist. Vascular surgery is one of the specialties where innovation is absolutely central to the specialty itself. And so I think it's only natural that vascular surgery will sort of lead the way, not only with medical device design innovation, but also with scientific discoveries, because it's sort of in our mindset to always be leading and trying new things and pushing the envelope as far as we can to improve patient care.